Ghosts of a Pumpkin by Jack October 14th, Sunday Since Halloween is starting up, I decided to buy a pumpkin before it becomes too late. On my morning jog, which I take every day, I took a small detour to the local farmer's market to pick it up. Now I wish I just drove because my arms are tired from carrying a pumpkin all the way home. While I was walking home, I noticed the empty house across the street got sold. I introduced myself to the man unpacking his stuff. His name was Ted. He was a little older and shorter than me, and wore an old, beaten-up baseball cap. He asked me about the pumpkin in my hand, and I told him the same thing I just wrote down here. He asked to hold it, and he examined it for an oddly long amount of time, and said nothing when he gave it back. A bit strange, but he seems like a nice enough guy. I'm a bit tired now, so I'll wait till tomorrow to carve my pumpkin. October 15th, Monday. When I sliced the top off my pumpkin, it was soft. It looked so fresh on the outside, but I guess it was rotten. A grim surprise indeed. I was still able to carve it, but I'm not quite sure it'll last till the 31st. When I finished, I decided to say hi to Ted again and formally welcome him to the neighborhood. I had to ring the doorbell four times for him to show up. I started to think he wasn't home until he finally answered the door and said hi. I said hello back. We started some meaningless chit-chat, and I told him a little about the neighborhood. It ended with him suddenly telling me to get off his porch, because it's being refurbished. Then he closed the door. It was a quick conversation, and I was confused about why he cut me off like that. He seemed interested yesterday. Maybe he's just having moving problems. October 21st, Sunday. It's been a week since I bought my pumpkin. It has grown a large brown spot inside of it. I just hope it maintains its shape a little bit longer. Anyways, I was going for my morning jog when I saw Ted's house had boarded up windows, and on the sides were these strange red splotches. I assumed it was graffiti, although it didn't look like spray paint. I wasn't sure if he knew about it, so I knocked on his door again to tell him. After he told me to get off his porch, I explained to him that some kids might have vandalized his house. I even offered to clean it up. He rejected the offer and said he's sure the splotches aren't important. Maybe he's trying to repaint his house. Since I was already talking to him, I asked him about the boarded windows. He mentioned something about keeping birds out, then made a forced goodbye. I suppose I was asking too many questions. Nobody likes a nosy neighbor. October 23rd, Tuesday. When I woke up this morning, my pumpkin wasn't on the table like usual. I had some friends over last night, so my first thought was one of them took it. I'm not sure why one of them would, but what else could have happened? I called them up asking if anyone took it, but none of them even noticed a pumpkin at my house. I was ready to buy a new one, but this afternoon Ted came by with it. I was ready to buy a new one, but this afternoon Ted came by with it. I tried asking him why he took it, but he kept avoiding the question. He shook my hand and acted polite, though. I don't know what's going on, but I'm just going to mind my own business. I was looking at the pumpkin, though, and I noticed the brown spot in the center was gone. October 29th, Saturday. In the middle of the night, I woke up to a scream. It startled me quite a bit. When I was a kid, my brother used to have night terrors, so I got used to waking up from loud noises. The scream was different, though. Not the type of scream on a roller coaster. The type of scream filled with complete terror. It was loud, high-pitched, long, more wobbly and scratchy in tone than an average screech. I had to reassure myself that it actually happened and wasn't just a bad dream. I've been watching a lot of horror movies lately, given that it's October. After having a drink of water and calming down for a bit from the disturbance, I looked out the window. Ted was outside. All his lights were on, windows still boarded up, and he was building a fence, hammering away at a post, on his porch. The only thing in motion on that otherwise calm night. I went back to sleep with the lights on. October 30th, Sunday. Since last week, my pumpkin has been deeply rotten. Even a small push could completely destroy it. I had to be extra careful when I was putting it out on my porch. When I was placing it, I saw Ted building his fence. I wasn't able to sleep for the past two nights. 
and I thought he might have something to do with it. I had to ask him what he knew about the scream. So I went up, said hi, and did exactly that. Surprisingly, he said he knew where it came from and could show me if I went inside his house. So we went in. He went upstairs and told me not to follow. I was confused, but everything he's been doing lately has been confusing. As I waited, I got curious and started snooping around his house. The walls had the same unusual red splotches as the outside of the house. In fact, it wasn't just on the walls. They stretched everywhere, from floor to ceiling, except in one room, the kitchen. I wandered in there and noticed on the counter there was a triangle-shaped rock. Maybe Ted liked collecting knickknacks. While I was pondering what the rock could be, I heard him shouting from upstairs. Ghosts! Ghosts! Despite his rather odd choice of words, he wasn't scared. He sounded angry, infuriated. The house starts shaking as his rumbles stomp the ceiling. Bang after bang, I start to think I should just leave. So in a scurried rush, I open the door and run out. But on the front porch, something catches my eye. It was just below a hole in the boards, caused by the fence being built on it. I knew I probably should have just left, but I wouldn't have any other chance to look. As quickly as I could, I peered in between the old wooden boards on that even older porch and saw... birds. Two dead birds. If that wasn't a sign to get out, then I had surely lost it. October 31st, Monday. I have not seen Ted today. I suppose that's for the best after that bizarre encounter. Something has changed, though, to the outside of his house. It looks as though he's never been there, beside the house sold sign in his yard. His windows don't have boards anymore. The outside of his house looks clean, without all those red splotches. When I went for my morning jog, he had mail on his porch, now fixed, that he hadn't picked up. The fence he's building is gone, too. Maybe it was all just a dream. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe this is just some elaborate prank. Speaking of which, because it's Halloween, a lot of pranksters have been going around the neighborhood. You know how kids get this time of year. The person to the left of my house, Ava, had gotten her roof covered in toilet paper. When I arrived home, I noticed they had gotten to me. A thick brown and green disc sits atop a deep orange slime, covered in meat-like strings. It all has a rancid smell. The fruit is disgusting. My pumpkin had been smashed. 